Hello folks, it is Saturday. It is 12.04 p.m. It's noon 04. I've got one of my kids in the car with me here. Um, yeah, I'm heading to today's gig. It's at a park outside. I'm going to melt into a puddle of goo. It's going to be hot. But it's for a, a benefit. I don't know exactly what it is. It's, a ben it's some sort of benefit for police. And uh, <coughs> the band is kind of a one-off thing. Because it's uh, me and Mike from our regular band. And then a different drummer who's actually played with that regular band before. You've seen him on a couple of these videos. And a lady who plays guitar and sings. It'll be the four of us. So it'll be something different. Should be cool. Uh, the music should be cool. I mean, it's gonna physically, it's gonna be hot. The drive is a very short drive for a change. It's only about five miles up the road. I don't know what to expect, but I'll find out soon. So I will see you at the gig. So I'm at the location of the gig, but I can't figure out how to get to where I'm going. I saw the band setting up way over at a distance. I don't know how they got there. I tried to go through one logical place, but there's a car show taking place, and the kid at the gate said he couldn't let me go. So I'm going to go around the other side of the park and see if there's a way to get to where the band is. If not, I don't know. I'm going to have to text them and find out. Well, I found the other musicians. <laughs> this is where it's going to happen. I think they're up to no good here. Let's go check out some old cars here. Eastbound down, loaded up and trucking. Taking a break here. Caroline wants to be in the video. <laughs> so yeah, we finished our first set. We're gonna take a quick little break here, and we'll come back for the second set and get out of here. Go to the second gig tonight. <laughs>
almost done. Still a huge crowd. Nine. Look at this. Nice. All right, so I'm starting to load up here. So the way I drove around to get back behind this stage is right there. I can't go down that way. The only other way to go is down there. It's not looking too good. All right, it is now 5.33. Gig one of two is done today. As you can see, I'm in a different shirt. I had, I had just enough time to go to the house, put on a fresh shirt and turn around and now I'm heading out again. It's a busy day. Um, so that last gig, it went okay. Uh, like I said, it was a benefit for police. And it was one of those deals where there were about 10 people there listening to us. And um, trying to trying to interact with them from the stage is like uh, what's that expression like trying to trying to pull teeth from a lion or, or whatever that expression is these people just were not into it so it was kind of dull but we had a good time it's, it's always fun hanging out with those uh, two other musicians who we we don't get to see all the time. Anyway, it was hot. Actually, it wasn't bad while we were playing because we were under this pavilion and this crazy wind was blowing. It was pretty stiff wind. Plus, I had my fan, so it wasn't it wasn't unbearable. But once I once we stopped and I started loading everything up, it got hot really quickly. So. Off to the next gig. It's gonna take me about 35 minutes to get there, and I gotta do all the work again. <laughs> Unload, set up, play for four hours this time, then do it all again in reverse at 1:30 in the morning. It's the life of a small-time musician. See, if I was a big-time musician. I would, uh, I would walk into wherever I was playing about five minutes before, grab my bass and start playing. And when I'm done, just hand the bass to my roadie and leave. That would be nice. Okay, you can turn right on red, you know that? Thank you. All right, I will see you at the second gig. All of a sudden, I heard it, and I just stopped talking. I looked at Mr. Robert for some reason. He was looking at me like, uh-oh. <laughs> so things are happening. A couple of people are here. We're waiting for Barry to arrive with the bulk of the snow. I'm having a beverage. Number nine, number nine, number nine, number nine, what the hell? There we go. Number nine. Yeah, we got our lights. Woohoo! Oh, there we 
got Jerry from the band that played with Thursday night, singer, came to hear us play tonight. A few people streaming in here. Look at Dana waving. <laughs> Crawfish party, June 9th. Looks like there was a change of date. Report from the bathroom. We have reached our first break. That was a really, really good first set. Good stuff. I think the sound is on tonight. Our uh, musicianship is on tonight. We got a really good crowd out there. I'll show you a crowd shot when I get back out there. But uh, I'm gonna go grab a bite to eat, and take a little rest, cause my back is killing me, of course, as always. When the hell did that start? up all our crap. Place is almost empty. I'm losing control. 
control. This thing fell off, somebody had to retrieve it for me. My fan fell off of this. That came off again. It's loose already, but look at that. Look at the plastic. It's broke as hell. Time for some duct tape. I should probably just go to Amazon and buy a better quality fan. Look at this. Everything's falling apart. Jeez. Just fine. Take a picture of it, right? Oh yeah, gotta put this on the video. Right? Look at that. Small by musician, man. The band there. trail has got a leak in the roof. There was a light up there, right? Gotta use the a garbage works. bag. The light works. <laughs> yeah, the light works. Uh, That's all part of being a small time musician. The leaky roof in the band trailer. <laughs> hey, wait. Make it solemn on that one. Make it solemn on that one. The leaky roof in the band trailer. Yeah. I got a leak. I am glad this day is over. Man. It was a good day. But holy crap, I'm tired. Just completely worn out. I gotta get up tomorrow. <laughs> My son's got yet another baseball game in the morning at noon. At least it's noon and not 8.30 like it was this morning. So I'm gonna do that. Once that baseball game is done, I gotta bring the kids back to their mom. And I gotta head to Prairieville, Louisiana to play another gig. My fifth, 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 my number five gig. <laughs> and my last one for the weekend. Tonight was really good. They had a big crowd there. Biggest crowd I've seen in a while at this place. And uh, the music was good. I, I got no complaints. I kind of screwed up the last song, but whatever. That's different. And, but yeah, it was a good night. So I'm gonna go home and get some sleep. I don't know, I'm trying to figure out if I need to uh, grab some food or not. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of hungry. I might stop and get some food. That's why I'm fat. Yeah, this... <laughs> I'll tell you what. Playing music like this as a small-time musician, it's really, really satisfying. But it's also very exhausting <laughs> what happened tonight it seems like there was something I wanted to say about something tonight I, I can't remember so tomorrow or later today it's 105 in the morning I will uh, I'll head over to the little smoky bar where we play every month or so I will see you at the next gig <laughs>